This hero section is really unique and engaging while still driving home the details. I'll show you how to recreate it with Wix Studio. Feel free to follow along. The first step is to create the background. I have these really big blobs that have a lot of blur to them. They're exported as PNGs. So hit the plus button, media, upload media, and we'll select all three blobs and add them to the page. Scale and reposition so the background is covered. Open up the layers panel and select the three while holding shift. Then on the canvas, hit place in container. Set the container to scale to the edge of the section and make sure the section's overflow is set to hide. You might need to reposition them a little bit and I chose to fade the opacity of the container down to about 60%. Cool, but let's make the blobs move. So select one, go to the lightning bolt and add a mouse effect. Set it to track 3D. Do the same for the other blobs, but adjust the animation for distance and velocity. Doing this will make the three move at different speeds to create this great parallax effect. Looks awesome. But we need to add some content. So add a new container. Inside we'll put in a big header. I have this at 150 pixels. We also wanna make this interactive. So we're gonna break this into a unique layout by creating a stack. So edit the text to just big ideas. Duplicate it, change the line to brought, duplicate it again, change the line to, to life. We'll grab the three lines and press stack. Perfect. Just make sure on the right that we uniform the margins in between, let's say 4%. The last step here would be to add a little paragraph to add some more details and maybe a button to drive people to action. Now let's add some animated elements around the text to make this even more fun. These elements are going to be animated, so it's all about layering some images next to each other. Now we'll layer them on top of each other next to the respective text layers. Select the images and hit place in container. Then move the container next to the field. It'll bump the stack down, but you can select the container and the text, then place in another stack. Turn the stack to the right, and that's a stack within a stack, which is good because now you can animate the icon on hover of the entire stack. So click the stack and go to the lightning bolt, add a hover interaction, and select the animated element. Choose on canvas, then select the image layer that needs to animate. Here we're going to make the icon's arms rotate around 180 degrees. And we'll do all this again, but make the head slide up with the transform just a slight bit. Let's hit the eye to preview and beautiful. We'll repeat those steps for the other two rows. And for complex animations like this one, it's often easier to set up the canvas to be the end state. Then on the hover animation, you can undo the animation and then set that to an initial state. This updates the animation by default, then hovering on that row will make the animation happen. This last one, I actually want to set a loop animation that is gonna be spinning. Then the container that I have wrapped around it will be set to zero on an initial state, but on hover, it will reveal the spinning looped animation. This looks super good. Maybe you can add a little video peeking through the bottom to get people to scroll, but how would I let you take it from here? Thanks so much for following along, and to learn more web design tactics like this, check out the Wix Studio Academy.